All right. <clears throat> so in terms of the next step for my coming out journey, um, I'm going to share a pretty personal story. I uh, definitely have not told many people this story, if anybody, to be honest with you. So here goes. Um, after telling my parents, telling some of my friends, uh, sharing my life with them, being vulnerable, being uncomfortable, um, and, you know, gaining ground, um, becoming, you know, starting to grow and in, into myself, into my own shoes and becoming a better person. Um, I had probably my lowest moment while, um, during my coming out journey. Uh, so after coming out to all these people, I had about a week or two before I started my first full-time job, my first, you know, joining the real world, as they say. Um, and that was as a public accountant, as an auditor. Uh, so I started the training for that. I had a week in the Chicago office. And the second week of training was going to be at the Q Center out in St. Charles, Illinois. Um, it's where you stay overnight and you're having like classes for uh, training classes, training courses all day long for about five, six, seven, eight hours. Um, and you do that for like three, four, five days in a row. Um, so before I drove out there, which was probably about an hour from my parents' house, um, my parents and my grandparents were at the house. And I said my goodbyes. They either all went out to dinner or they went to the airport to drop my parents off there. I don't know if they were going on vacation or what. But uh, they all left the house. Um, and then all I remember was going down the, to the basement where the laundry room was. And before I entered the laundry room, <laughs> I remember sitting at the bottom stair, at the bottom stair, and just falling apart, just emotionally breaking apart, breaking down. Um, I couldn't even control myself. I, you know, and I wish it wouldn't have to happen, but uh, for me, it was just part of the journey. Um, I had so much negativity and rejection and hate for my sexuality and my mind and have been you know it's just been draining me for so many years that I was going to have these moments and this was the worst because I just felt so alone um I felt uh I felt the need for love and for company and I, I wasn't at that moment at that specific moment I didn't have it um <clears throat> but I think what's awesome is you know like figuratively and literally with that kind of situation uh, it's such a huge obstacle in my life like I had to get up I had to get over it I had to move on you know, it wasn't going to be done in 10 seconds, but, you know, with that situation, I got up, I moved on, I went, got my laundry done, got in the car and went to uh, training at the Q Center. Um, you know, I didn't call my parents and say, oh, I hate my life, I can't do this. You know, even though I wasn't happy with my um, career at the time, you know, I stuck it out and I just, baby steps, you know. So, yeah, that's my story for the vlog. And here's my song for the vlog. It's called Human by Christina Perry, I believe. I can hold my yeah. Breath. Pretty self explanatory. I can buy my tongue. I can stay away for days if that's what you want. Be enough. So, yeah, I mean, 
I feel like that song is awesome because it talks about how you're going to fall down, you're going to break apart, but you're human. You bleed, you cry, you hurt, um, but you also can get up. You can also stand up. You can get over those obstacles. You can accomplish things. You can be successful. Um, you know, I, I just think it's a super it's a motiv super motivational and inspiring song, and I hope when you guys are down, like myself, you know, you're going to have your moments, uh, but you stand up and you can get over any obstacle that's put in front of you. So, hope you guys like the vlog. Uh, love you all and enjoy the weekend.